So this is your last call. If you guys don't know, we usually look at the end of the week for 801 Banshee, Zura, and Eververse in that order. So that way you guys are aware of what's leaving for the week. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, let's look at the fit for the video, I guess, because I know people are going to ask. So this is a variation of a set that I made for the Veteran Legend stuff. I think the video is already up. If it's already up, I'll have it up right now. So that way you guys can go check it out. It's a variation of it because I am switching out the boots and the helmet. And the shader as well. Royal Protector is the shader I'm using. This is a dope shader. I think it's being sold this week or it was last week. Either way, we're going to look at that in a bit. But Mask of the Great Hunt, Veteran Legend Grasps for the Exotic Girl Falcon, New Mean Strides, and then Everdite's Iron Cloak. Overall, I like this set. To be honest, though, I would definitely switch the helmet out for this one. Uh, if I can find it, it's over here. Yeah, I definitely would switch out the helmet for this one instead because I feel like this one looks way better. But I don't want to spend a synth weave on this helmet considering I this is the first set that I've made with the helmet. So I definitely would have to see more because unfortunately the gold doesn't change color, which is a big no-no for me. Like the weird thing is this gold is almost a one-to-one, -one, which is why I'm tempted to do it because I do think this look this goes hard. But let me know what you guys think about the fit for the video. As for 801, she is selling Cinder Char. This is a weird shader for her to sell because i've never seen her sell this so i definitely would recommend it this is definitely a shader that's vanguard related obviously you have the orange and blue and white so yeah if you want like a vanguard shader that looks kind of like weathered and messed up this is definitely the one you're going to look for because it does look really cool uh new pacifica sync worn i think i've explained this many times but there is New Pacifica Sync, the base look, which looks super pristine, and then the worn look, which obviously looks super worn. So I definitely like this one a lot more just because it looks like the armor is lived in instead of just super pristine and nothing's ever happened to the armor. And then War Cult Endgame. This is my favorite shader from the War Cult shaders just because it's so it's such a good white and blue compared to like, what is it, red, blue, and yellow, I think the original Future War Cult colors are, which I think are gross. And then for the armor set, it's going to be the OG armor set from D1. I like this armor a lot. That being said, there are some negative things about the armor, specifically hunters. I'm not the biggest fan of the cloak, um, specifically the neck in the, that part. It just looks weird. The boots I'm not a fan of. The arms are decent. I think the chest piece and helmet are like for sure the best pieces from the whole sets, like bar none. Titans, I think a lot of it is kind of disappointing. I, I think the helmet is really cool. I think the arms and boots are definitely decent. The chest piece is also pretty cool, but the mark is definitely like whatever's. And then Warlocks, I actually really like yours a lot. Specifically, the helmet is super dope. The arms and boots are decent. The chest piece is cool. I think even the bond is really cool. So there's definitely some pieces here that you definitely should get, but if you didn't get them that's fine because i think the world drops anyway so you will get them eventually or you can just get them right here but let me know what you guys think as for banshee we have Cry chroma rush with heating up and wellspring that's unfortunate true prophecy with grave robber and time payload the vision with fully auto trigger system and elemental capacitor distant timulus uh with lead from golden fire in line okay Tempt temptation hook with relentless strike and non guard okay so distant timulus this is decent actually like legitimately lead from gold is always going to be a dope like dope per perk especially for specials and then uh firing line this is like legit a good pve weapon i'm not gonna lie to you guys will i pick it up probably not because i don't really mess with firing line that much um but if you're like especially like in raid situations or if you just play with a lot of people all the time firing line is going to be the best one uh just because i think it's like what 20 percent. it's way higher than the other ones for sure if i remember correctly but i i it sucks because like i want to really love this because it is really cool lead from gold and firing line really really cool but it's also a rapid frame so i'm like uh, i don't know let me know what you guys think as for zur we are Ooh, Polaris Lands. Okay, that's pretty dope. Lay Monarch, Catalyst. These two are definitely worth picking up for sure. This one's super fun. This one is also super fun. I don't know, man. Definitely pick these two up if you have the weapons. Uh, Gwyn's Invest. I'm not even going to look at it because the, the exotic is uh, trash. Uh, Mask of the Quiet One. That resilience is really high. Wow. <laughs> uh, Promethean Spur. Wow. 
one on almost any everything if you masterwork this it's literally a one on everything so that's like cool i guess but it's not enough to like really make me want to get it and then exotic cypher which oh okay so no more exotic uh okay whatever and then ooh, okay and then for the other exotics we have hawk moon with surplus we have vigilance wing lord of wolves black talon and then Galahorn. for the weapons we have legal action 2 with surplus and adrenaline junkie spare rations with moving target and kinetic tremors Wishbringer with Pulse Monitor and Opening Shot. 7th Seraph CQC-12 with Auto Loading Holster and Trench Barrel. <sighs> this is decent. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I I am weird and have used 7th Seraph CQC-12 in PvE. Specifically the first boss from Prophecy. I've actually used this to whittle the boss down. Back when it was like super good. So this actually is interesting me a little bit. Um, Temptations Hook with Relentless Strikes and On Guard. Burn, Burringer's memory with pulse monitor and shield disorient and then quick fang with fresh and fl flash counter for the actual armor this is interesting considering i am not the biggest fan of the uh the faction armors a lot of them especially spe uh, more specifically the base look of it just because i feel like it's too close to a lot of the armor that it was based off of specifically like the anti-extinction armor which is the dead orbit armor that's from the edz armor the simulator suit which is the future war cult armor is from nessus and the sovereign suit which is the armor set you're currently looking at right now is from a world drop so yeah it is a reskin that being said i do think the new the new monarchy armor is way better because it actually changes at least a few pieces specifically the mark or or i shouldn't say mark the class item and some other pieces for each of the classes so let's go for the hunters first hunters helmet is pretty cool i think the legitimately the arms are pretty cool as well honestly everything i say about this armor can be applied to the base look of the armor as well specifically the world drop armor the only difference is the class item for specifically the hunters is way better that being said it does have a really annoying thing where the like scarf um or the bottom cloth it, it it's weird it doesn't like hug the armor piece or a lot of the armor pieces specifically the chest pieces that well so that is one thing that you will find annoying other than that it's really cool it has that like the metal on the hood and then the metal on the back i forget what it's called but chainmail it has that chainmail which is really really cool um the only annoying part and this applies to everyone is the fact that the white on the actual like arms and the left side of the boots if i remember correctly and any of the um what's it called the new monarchy symbols which are white does not change color so that's going to be really unfortunate that being said i still think this armor is worth picking up minimum at least the pieces that actually change the armor in a very cool way specifically the class items there are other pieces specifically titans for you guys you actually get a different helmet which is super dope um and when I say different helmet, I should really just specify that you get a really cool fur piece at the top. That's the only difference. Everything else is pretty much the same. This one, however, the chest piece also has some chain mail, which is really cool. I think the mark is super dope as well. I think the only pieces where I'm like, this is whatever, is the arms and the boots. Other than that, I do think the pieces that I mentioned are pretty cool. Warlocks, I think your difference is the fact that uh, the bond is just amazing. This is one of my favorite bonds legitimately. But other than that... You will notice that the arms and the boots also have that white piece that doesn't change color and the chest piece it, i don't remember there's specifically like one th one thing that's really really cool um i'll back out of the armor so that way i can show you guys but this is the base look of it, it looks super cool very very clean and the world drop armor which is gonna be where are you um not here i know yeah here it is so it looks the same actually i can tell you what like one for one if we put on a dead or, or not dead orbit um this one no it was this one i don't know what it is the other one just looks way better like legitimately just the colors are just popping um let me see let me go back should be factions next page or not not next page oh it was already in the second page so this one yeah 
yeah this one just looks way cleaner i think that this was not metal if i remember correctly but yeah i would still recommend picking this up just because it, it will shader differently than the other one if i remember correctly so like yeah dude i think that metal crotch is what was different about it this is also not the same shader which is interesting so yeah i definitely would recommend this armor just because it does look really cool well, it, it is there but does it does it act like armor it does act like armor okay so there really is no difference i would still pick it up nonetheless because it will shader differently but yeah overall i think the armor is really cool as for the armor rolls i'll just shut up so you guys can see the armor And as for Eververse, we have Empirical Imperative. I like this shader. This shader is like one of my favorites when I'm going for like a uh, like a mechanical look, specifically a Seraph look. I think this shader is going to be super dope. Funnily enough, this is from Season of the Seraph. Um, heat Shielded. And then we have the Omega Mechanos chest piece for all of the classes. Specifically, I'm going to be honest with y'all, this is the worst piece for Hunters just because this doesn't change color either. So the boots, um, what is it? The boots, arms, and chest piece, I think. Some pieces of the cloak as well don't change color. So like legitimately Hunters, we lost in this one. This is like the worst piece ever. I might as well show you guys the Warlocks and the Titans because I only like one of the classes which is going to be the titans i think the titans won out for that just because a lot of the pieces change color and they change color in a really cool way so yeah this one's super dope warlocks unfortunately i don't like yours at all there's a lot of reasons for this but the main reason is this blue lining doesn't change color the this armor piece takes colors in a really weird way because like this like like rust almost looking thing is actually ingrained in the armor so it will be looking weird um these dots right here or these symbols right here do not change color um yeah there's a lot of problems with it so unfortunately uh titans just got the best chess piece because it just shaders really well unfortunately or fortunately i should say for them um buzz off and then for the stuff at the bottom, we have Alone to be Joined, which is a really cool shader for whatever this gun's called, Drang. We have Sierra Whiskey, which I really like this one. Will I, do I like it enough to pick it up? That's the problem. Probably not, if I'm being honest. Um, oh, wait. This is Sparrow. Oh, okay. I still don't like it, but cool. Eclipse Hunter. Oh, this looks pretty cool. I would get this for my hunter, but I already have like ships that I want for my hunter. Um, Golf Tangle Shell. Sand in the Eyes. Nothing to see here. And then for the Transmats, we have Lattice Entrance. Catch Flight Entrance, Cabal Shield Breaker, and then for the shaders we have Royal Protector which is the shader I was just talking about. Definitely get this one, it's a dope shader. Um, I'm not even going to say I'm going to make a video on it because I never do, but if I do I'll hopefully post it by tomorrow. Uh, Spark of Joy, Atmosphere Glow, and last but not least uh, Milk, whatever this fucking says. Yeah. This is decent actually like very decent so yeah that's pretty much it for the stuff we're looking at i am going to be working on this video by the end of by the end of the season which is our episode whatever which should be in literal like fucking days at this 15 days i should have this unlocked and then i'll probably make some armor sets with it maybe we'll see i definitely want to make a video on it because i do want to acknowledge that it's cool that we're getting something other than armor um that being said i also do want to review all of these season levels because i do think some of it is kind of uh disappointing if i'm being honest uh a lot of the rewards i'm just like could have been better like legitimately maybe I, I wouldn't say another armor set just because i feel like that's a lot to ask even though i want to ask for that but maybe maybe some weapon skins first for the weapons that would be cool like maybe this 
instead of getting a vex themed set we can get like something that's another theme that would be cool or just have it like it used to like we used to have it for some of the weapons let me show you guys what i'm talking about because most of you good new guys and will not understand what i'm talking about which is completely fair considering again there's a few pieces that we didn't get or they what i'm trying to say is they stopped giving us skins for weapons a while ago which is very unfortunate and we were just talking about this weapon too so seven server cqc is one of the weapons here's the base or the new look for it which does actually change the geometry quite a bit you get this right here you get a new stock um, I think this over here as well yeah so it does change like the look of it quite a bit there is no wiring here so I would like them to go back into this where we get actual pieces of skin for the weapons I think that would be really cool just because again it I feel like the season pass is just a little bit barren but I will explain further in that video if I fucking make it eventually but I do have a lot of content for you guys as well I have uh, what is it four days worth of content that's already gonna be pushed out like I don't have to do edit it or anything it's already on the channel and it's literally just gonna go on autopilot but I will be working on some other things specifically when the Omega Meccano set specific like I think this Tuesday we'll get the helmet which means I'll have all of the armor which means we'll be making a review video plus the shader video plus the class specific videos now I don't know if I'm gonna make new sets for those or just reuse the old sets that I made for the weekly videos just because I'm still not sure if I want to do that uh, more content I guess but we'll see um, after that honestly I'm probably gonna take it a little slow probably start playing other stuff as well I'm going to be doing a Final Fantasy video like almost right after this one so that way I can push it out as well and some more Space Marine videos as well and if you guys want to check out Space Marine specifically the campaign I am currently playing that on my second channel so make sure to check that out if you want but yeah I have a bunch of stuff that I'm currently working on I'm pretty busy which means I'm uh, pretty happy considering I'm not I don't like to not do anything so let me know what you guys think I appreciate y'all be safe I'll see you guys later